to treasure hunters in Poland say they've made an incredible discovery, a treasure trove thought to be only a folk story. The two men say they have found a lost Nazi train carrying gold and gems. It was supposed to have gone missing at the end of the Second World War after it entered a tunnel, by the way, in the ca near a castle in the mountains. That has been the story. Rumors endured for decades of those secret tunnels built by the Nazis. Local authorities now working to figure out if this is true. For more on this, let's bring in Mary Kate Cleary. She specializes in historic claims of this type at the Art Recovery Group. Thanks for joining us today. Hello, thank you. There are always stories, of course, and I'm sure you've heard your share of hidden stashes of gold or art or gems. Do you believe the train exists? We're still waiting for more information, but as you said, we're hearing reports from Western Poland near a city of Wrocław that there has been an identification by two gentlemen of a train of this nature, but the reports are really preliminary and we're waiting to receive more information. If this does uh, prove to be true, what would we be looking at? Can you tell us a little more about the story of the Nazi train and what would be on it? Yes, yeah, so the Nazis, when they, during the Second World War, during the Nazi occupations of various European countries, the Nazis were notorious plunderers of art, cultural property, and other valuables. And so they would engage in a systematic campaign to dispossess particularly Jewish communities and other enemies of the Nazi regime of their property. And this, this material would be collected and then transported back to the German Reich. And these trains were used to transport materials such as gold, other valuable property, back to Germany, particularly at the end of the war as the Allies were advancing the Soviets from the east and pushing the Germans back into um, the German borders. So if this train was one of those uh, such trains, then it would contain materials from Eastern European countries, possibly dispossessed from Jews, um, victims of the Holocaust. I understand uh, that where this train could be found was formerly part of Germany uh, decades ago, but now it's part of Poland, and that the man who claimed to have found it uh, wants a piece of uh, what it's worth, but who would really benefit from this? I mean, could the original owners uh, end up in possession of what was stolen from them? We would hope so. If this does turn out to be the find that it, it is claiming to be, if these are objects that were dispossessed from victims of the Nazi regime, we do have an example of the Hungarian gold train um, that is a, a more well-known example that had been on a similar route back to Germany and then was stopped by the Allies. Um, and this train was, mis the, the um, dealing with this train and its objects was mishandled by the Allies, particularly by the United States, and a settlement was reached only in 2005 that benefited the victims of Nazi persecution in Hungary. So we would hope that if these objects are in fact from victims of Nazi persecution in Poland or in other places in Eastern Europe, that they could be identified and that we could, we um, at our recovery group, in addition to other organizations, could work to identify these objects and get them back to the victims or their heirs. All right, it's an intriguing story, but obviously lots more to come on it. Mary Kate Clary, thank you for joining us. You're very welcome, thank you.